Hey, fire signs. Welcome back to my channel, the Sadana, also known as the Afro Zen. Today, I'll be reading for fire signs, which consists of Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. All right. <laughs> um, I just have this strong urge to be like, yo, Leo. All right. So I feel like somebody is going to be healing you out. Could be a Leo. Um, they're trying to get your attention. Okay. Um, that song by Chris Brown. Yo. Uh, so I forgot how good it's, it's on his first soundtrack. And <laughs> yeah, it's on his first soundtrack. It's called Yo. So uh, it, it's a, he, he got a dope ass soundtrack. But definitely check that out. I just can't somebody say, yeah, yeah, like that. Like trying to help somebody out. But someone is not paying attention or someone is looking a different way. They're not listening or they don't, they're not trying to listen to what you have to say. Okay. Black magic is definitely involved in this. And someone needs to practice self control. So, okay, with that, yeah, because they're like super, super like loud and aggressive with it. And they keep using that as a mating call. To get someone's attention, but someone is not paying attention to to this person. All right, <clears throat> we have a thief here on our hands. All right, let's see. Let's go down the rabbit hole. What they taking away from people? All right. Ooh, dang. <laughs> okay. All right. So someone is trying to take someone's success. All right. Someone is trying to ride on the back of someone's success or ride the coattails on someone's success. All right. Now, this person doesn't like to put put blame on self. OK, they like to push their blame on others. So this person that is here could be you or uh, the uh, someone else. Right. The adversity card is here. They're trying really hard to make sure that this person endure lots and lots and lots of adversity, okay? Because again, they don't want to see them successful, all right? Now, over time, I do feel like this person has been exposed. Um, <laughs> I feel like this person has been exposed. Okay. Oh, it has something to do with a relationship. And definitely this person doesn't want to surrender this connection, okay? Um... <laughs> I feel like this person thinks it's really funny, okay? Um, no boundaries. This person take take this as a joke. They think it's funny. Um, this black, uh, it's not black magic. Fuck that. Candle work. Somebody trying to do candle work on somebody. We won't say no damn black magic here, but y'all get the gist of it. Um, they're very prideful and they are very um, they're in their ego. They, they, that's all they, they, they wake up in their ego. They <laughs> maneuver through the day in their ego and they go to bed in their ego. It's ego driven. Okay. Like this person doesn't have an on and off switch when it comes to empathy or emotions. It's just very, very, very cold. Okay. Now over time, I feel like this person is going to come in and ask for forgiveness. Excuse me, because you're going to start to pull away. Somebody is having issues with indigestion, indigestion, indigestion. I can't say indigestion. <laughs> I can't say the word right, but y'all get what I'm saying. I'm hearing GERD as well, gash, gastro and um intestinal G E D G E R D. Somebody um is trying to go back to school for their GED. Okay. I feel like someone is trying to make fun of you because you're going back to school for your GED. Tell them fuck off. All right. Tell them I said fuck off. And you go ahead and, and you you get your GED. All right. Shit. People always in other people's business, but when you look in their closet, there's a whole bunch of nastiness inside of there. Tend to your nastiness first. This person is not going to burn out in this. They're going to treat. They're going to keep coming um, back over and over and over and over. It's like a broken record, okay? Like they're not wanting to get away, or they're not wanting to break away from this connection because they see that you have money. This person is very controlling. All right, why are they so controlling? I know it's about money, but why are they so controlling? Oh, okay, yeah, so this person has definitely stepped away from you or you have stepped away from someone. Someone does not want to co-create with someone anymore because they did not feel free, all right? They're not feeling free, but someone knows. I feel like somebody is hiding money. All that glitter is gold. Somebody has a deep knowing that money is being hidden and they're wanting to um, like crack open the safe and take take someone's money, okay? So again, it could be um, this candle work that you're doing. It could be remote viewing. Um, it could also be meditation. 
it could be Akashic Records, but somebody is definitely uh, into the occult knowledge, but not as deep as you would think they is. They like a little baby, don't know what they're doing. They just out here willy-nilly with this damn candle work. All right. Uh, I'm hearing this. Oh, Lord. Some of y'all binding spirits. You don't. Okay. Okay. Um, they're not playing by the book. Somebody is binding spirits. And let, uh, and I say that. Okay. Yeah. This spirit that you bind is very upset. Very upset. Very upset. I'm going to say that again. Very upset. Okay. That's all I'm going to say. Truth be told, this person is a manipulator and a liar. All right. This person is unemployed. I just keep hearing nastiness. Like this person doesn't like to take showers. Someone has a mental illness. All right. And I feel like it's because of the candle work. <clears throat> they didn't have this before. Yeah, someone is a fake empress. Could be dealing with a Taurus. Maybe dealing with a Cancer. Okay. Maybe dealing with an Aquarius. Might be dealing with the Scorpio. Dang. Okay, all the damn signs coming out. Somebody has a lot of hidden baggage. Okay, somebody has a lot of hidden baggage. What's the hidden baggage? the hidden baggage somebody got real upset that somebody left and didn't say anything they literally just ghosted them they didn't say not one word to them they said f this i'm out of here they're out of here so now they feel like the lone wolf because of it someone feels very broken hearted very devastated. Like, how could you do this to me? I thought we were in love. Somebody play a lot of head games, yo. A lot of fucking head games. Somebody needs some serious healing as well, too. Go sit your ass in some water somewhere. Oof. God damn. <laughs> yep. Somebody has been using the um, I keep hearing tantric or been using like their 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 looks, seduction. Sexual seduction is what I keep hearing. That's all you got to offer. You ain't got a lot to offer. That's all you got to offer. You ain't got a lot to offer. Definitely a lot of trickery involved here. And this is a fantasy fulfilled that they, they saw someone um, for their finances or for their money. And they literally just came in. So, ooh, succubus, succubi. Somebody's definitely here draining someone sexually. But you or someone may have a sexual over over sex, over heightened, over uh, enhanced sexual drive, but it's not normal. It's not a normal sexual drive. On the verge, it could be a nympho, it could be a nymphomaniac, but not in a healthy way because you can have a very healthy, sexy sex life. Well, I feel like this person doesn't have a healthy sex life. Transformation is coming. Definitely some changes is coming. I feel like you two need to separate. A lot of secrets are being revealed. The moon card is here. We got baby, we got baby witches out here trying to do spell work. Don't even know the first thing or nothing, and I'm not saying it because you don't. I don't know who watches, so I'm not giving you no no heads up. No. Nope. Somebody been praying on someone downfall. There was never no lovingness. There was never no lovingness at all. Somebody was breaking down somebody's subconscious. Nasty manipulators. What I'm hearing. Changes are coming. Changes are coming. Here and I will destroy you. I will destroy you, motherfucker. That's what I keep here. I will destroy you. Uh, hold on. <laughs> uh, that's what I feel. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, this relationship was sideways. So there was a lot of problems in the relationship. I feel like when y'all first got together, like maybe a week or two, this person started to show their true colors very early. And the four plus five or 45 equals nine. So yeah, it was it, it was definitely going to end. It wasn't supposed to be. There's no structure. There's no structure in this connection, relationship. 
Somebody was just visualizing on your money, okay? Their eye was on the prize. This looks, uh, this is Neptune, right? I was about to say, Neptune is illusions. Visions, illusions. Somebody definitely has someone in an illusion, period. And they use sex. They use sex as a weapon. Sure did. You got to use sex as a weapon. Keep your crusty ass hands. Don't I want that shit? <laughs> Shit, I don't, want no, I don't want that. Invitation to the past. So someone dwells in the past a lot. Uh, Cross-pollinate. That's definitely an STD card here. That's my STD in Gemini. So a lot of air. Yeah, a lot of sex. A lot of like uh, manipulation with the mouth. And also, um, what I'm hearing. Um, uh, what do you call it? I'm hearing it, but I can't put it into words. Uh a lot of affirmations during sex as well, too. So someone is binding someone through sex and don't even realize it. Whose pussy is this? Whose dick is this? Where y'all do this shit? You bind it. Mm -mm. I don't know. I'll be like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> you gonna buy my ass up. Uh -uh. <laughs> yeah, someone has a lot of self-doubt here. They're not trusting their intuitiveness. There's a fake empress involved here. Uh Mm -hmm. There's a message of concern. Somebody has taken someone money or trying to take someone money or someone may have gotten an alert that money was taken out their account. But I feel like somebody is aware of this and is taking them to court because of this. It's one hell of a journey. One hell of a journey. Thief. Okay? A not so mature woman is here. Okay? It doesn't. I don't feel like it's an actual mature woman, meaning like a woman of like an older woman. I feel like a woman in her 20s late 20s to early 30s or mid 30s okay that's the time timeline i'm getting but this person is not going to be successful at all no matter whatever it is that they're trying to do to you it's not going to work yeah the expectation there's no expectation it's not going to work <laughs> it's not going to work huge messes of concern i think a lot of people are aware of what's going on they give them the green light they talk too damn much they pillow talk i did this to this one i did that there's a lot of secrets here uh, a lot of sexual secrets that uh this individual doesn't want another person to expose we have pisces involved here okay we got a scorpio involved here scorpios don't do that <laughs> <coughs> We have a Capricorn involved here. Can y'all see that? Hopefully. Look at my thumb. Capricorn. Gemini. All right, so that's all I have for y'all. That was for the fire signs. If that resonates with you in any way, shape, or form, please feel free to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Until next time, fire signs. Peace.